Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Tuesday the 26th of April in Eastertide. My name is Reverend Jenny Walpole and I'm the curate for the benefice of St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter. And so let us worship. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As you once ransomed your people from Israel, from Egypt, and led them to the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm for today is number five. You, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Give I Give ear to my words, O Lord, consider my lamentation. Hearken to the voice of my crying, my King and my God, for to you I make my prayer. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal to you and look up. For you are the God who takes no pleasure in wickedness, no evil can dwell with you. The boastful cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those that work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful, the Lord will abhor. But as for me, through the greatness of your mercy, I will come into your house. I will bow down towards your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face, for there is no truth in their mouth. In their heart is destruction, their throat is an open sepulchre, and they flatter with their tongue. Punish them, O God, let them fall through their own devices. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them, so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous, and with your favour you will defend them as with a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, beginning at verse 1. After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord spoke to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses' assistant, saying, My servant Moses is dead. Now proceed to cross the Jordan, you and all his people, into the land that I am giving to them, to the Israelites. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I promised to Moses. From the wilderness and the Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites to the great sea in the west shall be your territory. No one shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with you, Moses, so I will be with you. I will not fail or forsake you. Be strong and courageous. You shall put this people in possession of the land that I swore to their ancestors to give them. Only be strong and very courageous being careful to act in accordance with all the law that my, Mos that my servant Moses commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, so that wherever you may be successful, wherever you go, this book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. You shall meditate on it 
day and night, so that you may be careful to act in accordance with all that is written in it. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall be successful. I hereby command you, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Canticle Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Alleluia. Set me as a seal upon your heart, as a seal upon your arm. For love is strong as death, fashioned fierce as the grave. It flashes our flashes of fire, a raging flame. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. If all the wealth of our house were offered for love, it would be utterly scorned. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can the floods drown it. Alleluia. Our New Testament reading is taken from the letter to Ephesians, chapter 6, beginning at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day. And having done everything to stand firm, stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist. Put on the breastplate of righteousness, as shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all of these, take the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in supplication for all the saints. Pray also for me, so that when I speak, a message may be given to me to make bold to make known the bold with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it boldly as I must speak. The Responsory Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O death, is your sting? But we shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O death, is your sting? The Benedictus. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the cause of right, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. Let us pray. Holy, loving God, we give thanks for this new day. We give thanks for the sunshine. Lord, give us joy in our hearts this Easter tide. 
may we know you, the risen Christ. Alleluia. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have asked for our prayers. Those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Those who are adjusting to being at home. Those who are cared for by others. We pray for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are hurt and maimed by war. We pray for those who will be facing violence this day. Those who are sheltering. Those who are fearful. Those who are fighting. Lord, we pray for those who will be arriving in Canterbury this week. We pray for those from Ukraine hoping to settle and adjust to a new way of life. We give thanks for those who are hosting them. And we pray for an end to war. We pray for justice, for peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We spend a few moments in silence as we call to mind any prayers of our own. We remember Reverend Joe in the Holy Land. We pray too for Bishop Rose on this her week in the deanery. And we give thanks for the ministry of Bishop Justin, along with all those who serve your church. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have recently departed and those whose ears might fall at this time. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. God of hosts, who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George, that he brought witness to the risen Lord by all his life and by his death, give us the same faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him in the fullness of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you for joining me this morning. Wishing you all a very good day ahead. And do join us again at 6pm for Compline. All the best. Goodbye for now. Bye.